Hi there guys, it's going to be a different style of tutorial today, instead of graphic and animation, 3D etc. This is going to be more for web based clients etc. Managing clients and your documents using cloud storage. Now this isn't just going to be using cloud storage, this is making your own cloud storage. So it's better than what you get from Adobe or Google Drive or anything. It's not hosted by another third party. This is complete control hosted on your server or your host and then you have access to it or whoever you decide to allow access to. So let's, let's get going. We've all got a website of some sort. Here's one of mine that I've got going. It's just a gaming server website. And it's basically, I run off a dedicated server so it's pretty fine for me. Obviously I've got a team speak and everything. But I want to give my members, say, a free cloud storage system. So let's set it up. We'll set it up on the back end of this site. So first of all, we want to go to owncloud.org forward slash install. This is completely open source, so it's free. You can modify it in any way you want. So you want to um, just show that again. You want to go to the web installer and just click that. And then just right click here and save link as. And save that onto your desktop <coughs> or wherever you've got easy access to. Okay, so then now you need an FTP manager. I use FileZilla, it does everything I need, it's free, and there's no need to go any different. Okay, and so say you've got a website, say it's psg.com, etc. <coughs> Somewhere along the lines, you'll have an FTP access details. You need to enter them. Um, I'm running off this of a dedicated server, so it's slightly different for me. I've got to navigate to that folder. But normally FTP will give you something like this. You log in, you'll have an index.html, probably default.html or something. And that's where people go to the website, that's where it loads up. So what I need to do is create a directory on my domain. I call this PSG. Click OK. Then I want to right click that directory because this is what makes FileZilla good and select file permissions. You need to change this numeric value to 777. Now you might find it might be 755. That can be the default permission. But this will give it read, write and execute access to all groups and levels. So you click OK. And obviously if you go to googlecraft.com slash psg googlecraft.com slash psg you'll probably get some kind of error because there's nothing there <coughs> so you're forbidden there's no files there to access so you shouldn't be there so then all you need to do is get this php file that you saved to your desktop install it there to click and drag simple and that is basically everything done really if you just right click that name and then just click rename and then copy that will just save you a step for this step because now I'm at my domain whocraft.com slash psg and I'll paste that name there and that will navigate my browser to that file and it will bring the setup wizard so then you click next um, just call it cloud or whatever name you want to call it obviously if you're doing this on if you own say www.psg.com you install this directly into psg.com it'll bring you straight to the cloud interface but I'm doing this at the back end of my normal website so I'm going to click next and this will communicate with owncloud.org and it will download all the files needed and install it on my server see very quick when you click next, then you need to create an admin account. So I'll do admin and admin and finish setup. That is it. I now have my own cloud storage. I've got two terabytes worth of spare well, I've got three point seven terabytes worth of spare data on my server. So I can use that all for my cloud system. That's a three point seven terabyte cloud. And it comes with the cost of my server, which my members pay for each month. So it's completely free 
storage. Again, it'll ask you to download a desktop app, an Android app, or an iPhone app. This basically lets you, so you can use your phone and sync to your cloud anywhere in the world, or you can use this desktop app to sync directly. I've already done that part to save time, so I've downloaded it. So I'm going to click next, next, next. I see, really easy. Sets it all up for you. And just click next. Then it'll ask you to run own cloud. So I want to run the own cloud. And ask for a server address. So you just come to your browser, copy that. And you paste it in there. Then you click admin admin next okay so now this is asking you for your local machine folder that you want to sync things on so if I just create a new folder on my desktop just for tutorial sake PSG cloud that's all set up so now just navigate to there go to my desktop PSG cloud then connect and now that is everything set up. The rest is all preference. So you've got because if you say like got GoDaddy hosting, you get unlimited web space with any of their premium packages. So you can have unlimited cloud storage here. You can have count with ten terabytes worth of data if you want. Or if you've got a friend, if you want to give them an account, what you can do is click up to here and your admin, that'll be whatever name you created as your admin username. Go to users and you create a new user. I'll call this user. I'll give him password as user. I don't want it to be in an admin group, so I'll click add group. So I'll call this members. Then just press enter because if you click away from the screen, it won't work. So you click enter, then click create. And there we go. So now, if they open up, um, oh, I can't remember what password I gave them, but never mind. Say if I open up Internet Explorer, which I don't use, but if I open up there, if I go to googlecraft.com slash psg slash cloud. It will give me the username so I can do user and user and login. And there you go. That is their own cloud interface. They get told to download the apps, etc. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the admin account. They can only access their own thing. One thing I should have mentioned is that if you actually set them, you can give them a 1 gigabyte, 5 gigabyte, 10 gigabyte, or other. So I'll, I'll be generous, I'll give them 250 gigabyte. So now when that user logs in, they've got 250 gigabytes of their own cloud storage. You, I've got several terabytes of hard drive that I can set up on mine, so I can do 20 users at 250 gigabytes if I want. And they can use it just like any other cloud system. They can store their music on there. They can play it directly in the cloud. They can stream it straight to their phone. I think it's even got video players. There's all sorts of sad on you can do. And also, if you're giving out a user account to a friend or something, tell them just to come up to user, click personal, and they can change their password. That way, even you can't even access their files. So it is quite secure and safe. And the best thing is, it's not actually hosted on anyone else's network if you've got your own dedicated server because you own everything to it and it's a lot safer than any of the bigger companies that tend to get hacked all the time. So let me just show you a quick thing in progress. So I'll go to files on the main admin account. If I click here new folder and say I want to do say I had a client called PSG. Okay. I can create a directory there, press enter. I can go into that directory. 
And this is obviously if I'm not giving them a cloud username access. So I just want them access one folder because it's their their account, etc. I can go to new folder. I can call PSG and the new folder my files. So today I've done a big project for a client, a website or something. I don't want them to have access to all the files, so I'll just store all my files in there. And then this one, any files that they, I want them to have, if they want to have access to them, then I can just come here and click share, share with link, give them that link, and it will work perfectly. They can just directly straight into that. They don't even need to sign up or be a member. So that's one way of managing my clients. I tend to have a hard drive on my computer and I have a brand new computer, new installs, so I'm still setting everything up. But I tend to have a solid, uh, not a solid state drive, a separate hard drive here. I have my clients here that will back up to a directory on my NAS network. So then from any computer within my Wi-Fi range, I can access those files because they're that's a Wi-Fi network based drive so when I've got it locally then I've got it on a backup drive and then that's normally the folder I'd sync to the cloud so then I have three backups of it taking up hardly any space at all because it's all not on my computer so say I'm on here this is the folder I've created as you can see when I created it on the browser it synced it to this folder that's on my desktop already it's got my files and PSG. So say that's a PSD of some sort. I can put it in my files and I can I don't know if you get any pictures on Windows 8. But I'm sure you probably do somewhere. So if I go back to the browser, if I go into my files, there's that file I just transferred. This is why this is so much better than Google Drive, Amazon Cloud, whatever, because it's instant. It's is only limited on your upload speed. I've never known it take time to sync. I've never known it fail timeout on transfers. I mean, I've transferred files 10, 15 gigabytes straight to my cloud. It doesn't time out. The only problem is in your PHP.ini file on your host, they may have a file size limit, but that's down to you to speak to your host. Now one point worth mentioning is that on some host servers they lock out a thing called PHP curl because if used wrongly it can do damage to the server which they may have blocked it which will stop the installation. So what you might need to do is create a .ht access file, um, use custom program a computer C drive program file just gonna use Notepad plus plus just you can do it with WordPad I suppose. Oh it's an eighty six bit isn't it? So I've got Notepad plus plus open so I can open that file and you may need to put in this code here. It may not work, you may still need to get them to authorise it, but this will override a script that's blocked it. It's just php underscore flag space magic underscore quotes underscore gpc space off. I'll put, a, uh, I'll put that in the description for you to copy and paste. But that's basically telling your server to what to do with that file and to allow it. Some of the bigger host companies might block it, you may have to ask them to enable PHP curl, but it's just worth a quick mention. I've not seen a problem with it on the bigger hosting companies. Obviously it doesn't matter on dedicated server as long as you've got your LAMP stack installed that has got MySQL, PHP, etc. on. But that is it. There is really nothing more to it. I've got my own cloud, say this one's 2.7 terabytes worth of cloud storage, just like that. No problem at all. Simple, quick, unlike this tutorial, it's just dragged on now. 
So, with that, I wish you a good day, and I hope this comes to you to somebody. Goodbye.